What it do, man? It's your boy, Battle Truth, coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this. So tomorrow, the Chrome 23 card drop. Remy Ma main eventing. Uh, easy to block captain versus Hitman Holler. But before that, let's go through some of the cards. Let me give you my predictions real quick. So we got Prestavia versus Official that's on that card. Um, name wise, it sounds good name wise because just keeping it 100, Prestavia made a big name for herself, especially being attached to gun titles and cave gang that definitely helped and raised and boosted her stock. Surf definitely was one of those uh persons that actually was going hard for her, man, to the point that it made her a name in battle rap. Just without her actually having to put in like true effort to even come into her own. Don't get me wrong, she can rap, but I don't consider her being one of the top females in the game. Her name is bigger than her talent right now as a result of the gun title wave. She going up against Official, who is one of the top female battle rappers easily in the game. Easily. She got it all. Lyrics, aggression, stage presence, vocal projection. She, 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 she a killer. Prestavia is in trouble. Prestavia is okay to me. I don't look at her as being a killer like these other girls is. I don't think she really bar heavy like that at all. For the most part, when she rap, it's average. It's average. Which actually says something that makes me believe that she probably write for herself and probably ain't got a ghostwriter. So if that's the case, she get points for that because I wouldn't hire a ghostwriter to write for me the round she be rapping to believe they got paid for that. Absolutely not. Sorry. No. No, 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 no. I'm not buying that one at all. Um, so I got official easily winning that battle. I doubt if Prestavia even get around. I got official just going to mop the floor with her and show her the difference in levels. So I got official winning that battle clear. Three zip. Who else is on that card? Then you have Miss Hustle versus Sony the Rapper. I like that. Both them girls is killers. And when both them girls on top of their game, it is a wrap. I like both them. Both them got bars. Both them got stage presence. Both of them is beautiful. Both of them is um, uh, <laughs> tall. <laughs> both of them um, is something to see. I, like these are two of my two of my like favorite girls to watch. I I I got it. I developed a great love for Sony. When she got married, man, I developed a greater love for her because she didn't settle. Knowing your worth and value says a lot. And not wanting to be a baby mama but a wife means everything. Because you can only be the wife to one person. And that's the highest honor a woman can receive. The title of being a wife with the ring and the paperwork. No one else can have that. No one else can have that. And shouts out to her. And Fettuccini for that. 
doing the right thing. May y'all trust in the Lord Jesus Christ to continue to make y'all marry strong and do right by y'all children and lead by example. Shouts out to y'all on that. Miss Hustle, one of the most hated females in battle rap. I know because of her arrogance at times and how high-headed she can get, but you can't take away how good this woman is. She's one of the most dominant, vicious, can back it up women in battle rap. When I say she go hard body, she go hard body. Sony too. Only difference is Sony a little bit more humbler. But people know not to play with Sony because Sony will Sony take it down. But for the most part, I like that she calmed a lot and she become more professional. And I like the joy of her spirit talking to Sony. And when it comes to Miss Hustle, I know a lot of people may dislike her as a result of how she just zero tolerant of a lot of things and she very snappy. But you also got to understand when people deal with certain things in their life as a result of things that happen to them in their life. You never know. And until you get to know a person to have that sit down and conversation, you will never know. You'll only be judging from the outside. But no matter how a person may feel about her, think about her, or what you may not like about her, you can't take away the fact that this girl is damn good and she's a straight shooter. Very beautiful and, and attractive to look at. And when she come to battle, she wear it well. She looks good. She make it look good. She dress nice and she be on top of her game and she come with it. It's going to be a good battle. I don't know who's going to win. Because these are two of the best women in battle rap that's doing it. The only thing about it is I have to edge it to hustle only because of this reason. Because other than that, I wouldn't know. Sony do stumble and forget her rounds at times. She do. She do. And she do it often at times. I just hope she came with it 100%. I hope that she got it together. I hope that she can get through her rounds so we can have a classic battle at the least. But this is going to be one of them fights. And if I have to put my money on somebody, I'm going to edge it to hustle as a result of Sony not being as consistent when it comes to remembering material. Going into the next battle. A Ward and Vixen the Assassin. I love co ed battles where women go against the guys. Them make some of the best battles because the guys don't want to lose to women, and women want to measure themselves up to the guys to show that they is just as impactful and effective in battle rap and that they belong here. And they measure themselves up against the best that do it. And I believe Vixen the Assassin, who again is one of the coldest killer females in battle rap. She was once woman of the year, like almost two years back to back, not too long ago. A Ward is on fire right now. Um, one of the most spoke about battle rappers in the game. This should be a good battle. And this could go either way. The things I hate about battles like this is I hate when people battle Christians and they always believe because I'm battling the Christians, I need to attack God. I need to respect, disrespect Jesus and say blasphemous things. And though y'all can't do better than that, like I don't care who I'm going up against, why would I personally literally strike against the living God as a result of showing my disgust for someone else. No, I'd rather just show my disgust from you, for you, rather than to direct it straight to God. And they do that a lot, and that's not good, and nothing good happened to them. I wish I was a fly on the wall to see their life after they blaspheme God. 
the things that broke down into a part in their house that they have no knowledge of, thinking it came from something else without even knowing it actually came from disrespecting God. This is going to be a good battle. And once again, I'm at a fix because I don't know who's going to win. I wouldn't be surprised if Vixen win. And I know A. Ward really, really, really trying to make a name for herself, stamp and establish himself. And the thing about Vixen is she know she here. She arrived. She know this paying off. She had hit a milestone in her career that it's catapulted her so high she can't let this go. She need to now push like she never pushed before. So they both need this battle. They both want this battle, which should make the battle even more intriguing. By which, if I'm a betting man, I'm just going to have to keep it 100 with you, Dan. If I'm a betting man and I got to bet on this battle, I'm not fully persuaded or convinced in what I'm about to say. And I don't know the angles a war going to use. It's a hard, hard one. So it should be a classic. But I'm just going to say forget it. I'm giving it to Vixen the Assassin. After what I saw her do to Tay Rock last time, she went up against the guy she was going crazy on Tay Rock and won that battle. In fact, I'm going to rewatch that battle again, too. Because it had hella replay value. And I believe she's going to do the same thing to um, A Ward. So I'm going to take Vix and the Assassin in that battle. Then we have Easy to Block Captain versus Hitman Holla. Main event. Easy to Block Captain is on fire right now. One of the most feared persons in battle rap right now. Also, when it comes to Easy to Block Captain... He wants this battle. This is the biggest battle in his career thus far. And he want to make it mean something. But these also the battles that he don't do too well in. Even though he's still, that's the thing about easy. He can be dominant, but he can be good. When he dominate, he unbeatable. But then he be good to the point that they still will get him to win if he good. But he don't dominate against certain people. Like, he was good against goods, but he didn't dominate. Why? Because he didn't have really an angle on goods. You can't really speak against a guy who doing better in life than you at that time. Same thing for Hitman Holla. I don't see how easy can be dominant against Hitman Holla when everything that easy is doing, Hitman Holler have already lapped him. Lapped him financially. Lapped him when it comes to street stuff. Lapped him when it comes to who broad look better. Like, lapped him on every level. Lapped him in battle rap achievements and accomplishments. Like, you, you put the comparison up, he lapped him every step of the way. I'm talking about lapped him, like, lapped him. I don't see how Hitman could lose a battle like that. I really don't. I don't see how you could lose a battle like that, knowing that he lapped that man in every area in life. As a result of that, I'm going to have to say I got Hitman winning this battle. I got Hitman winning this battle over Easy to Block Captain because I just don't see Easy to Block Captain beating him. Seeing that Hitman got the advantage. I really don't. With that being said, those are my predictions. We'll see tomorrow. Chrome 23 going down. Shouts out to Remy Ma doing a thing over there. And it's your boy Battle Truth. Make my judgment ask some questions. It's your one. Subscribe to Battle Truth.